So, time for another painting. Um, okay. Yes, uh, this is, um, uh, I'm doing it from a photograph of um, some fungi that are at the other side of the road out here. And um, tiny little ones, I don't know what they're called, I haven't, um, I haven't uh, um, identified them yet, but that doesn't matter. I've, I've, uh, I've uh, sort of stained some of the canvas here just to um, see where everything goes, make sure it works okay. I'm, I'm just drawing from the image on the iPad to try and uh, just to sort everything out a bit more. Day before yesterday, I finished a big one, which you can just about see in the background right there. Um, which was of an apple uh, still left on the tree in the garden, a kind of shriveled, tiny apple, soaking wet, of course, because it's raining all the time now at the moment. <coughs> and then yesterday I, put, I did this, started the drawing this out, and now I'm looking at the iPad, sort of drawing it out, making sure these things are going to work, and then I can start painting it. Mixing up some paint and uh, getting into it properly rather than just sketching it all night. Some uh, rather nice details on the fungi where the slugs have been eating it. And, um, so here, big lump of brown down here. Something will go in here I expect. All right, that'll do for now. Let's start painting. Strangely, I, I like to leave me water a bit, um, a bit muddy, as I would call it, so that um, so that the colour, so when it mixes up with the colours, it's not kind of a brash, kind of a pure colour. You know, when you mix it up with white, it's not really it's off white, and when you all that kind of stuff. Um, sometimes I put clean water and then um, uh, when I'm doing highlights and that and when I'm doing glazes, with glazes you need um, clean water and right that's this burnt amber and maple's yellow. Right, let's do it like that. You can see I don't necessarily keep to um, uh, sketch it out there. I want this bit a bit bigger, I think. So I'll just sketch it out a bit more. So um, anyway, I was a bit fed up with uh, with uh, filming myself painting. So the last painting I did, I didn't bother to do it. But then my sister uh, said I had to do some more because that's the only time she sees me and talks to me and uh, hears me talking. Because when I see her, I never say a word to her of me. So. Um, So hopefully she will watch this. She watches YouTube, she doesn't do anything else, I don't think. Um, she doesn't do all that Facebook stuff and all that. She just has her friends around her. 
friends and family. So hopefully there's more people than just her that's interested in this, but uh, you never know. We shall see. So this is the image on, uh, on, on the iPad. And of course, luckily I can just blow it up and have a better look at it if I want to. I mean, it's a wonderful thing. Much better than when I used to have to bring it all in. Of course, sometimes you can bring it, you can cut out, cut off a big moot and bring it indoors and, um, and shove, it, shove it on the table and draw it. But when it comes to things that, um, that change all the time, like fungi, I mean, mostly they get eaten. Eaten by slugs. And the bigger ones get eaten by all the deer. Although there's, um, although there's sheep in the fields now, so um, uh, any fungi that are in the hedge or that, the deer don't go near them now, because they don't like sheep. They're happy enough with, um, Happy enough with cows around, but uh, sheep they don't like, which a lot, a lot of people don't like sheep for some reason. Okie doke, so uh, that's about it for today I think. Right, I'll continue painting without the uh, camera on. And, um, and have a look at it tomorrow.